something else the other day. Well, last week. Yeah, that's what I'm in as well. I'm just gonna go and tweet that we're live now or something. Um. Well, whatever you get in, you're not actually gonna need to drive it, so get in. <laughs> So remember to press the Y button to spectate, mate. My audio isn't included currently. It's not included, did you say? Have I... It is. Oh, it is. That's it oh, is. that's all right then. Yes. Right, let me find PSUK on Twitter, and I'll tweet that we're starting. Oh, hello, Dom. I wonder if I oh, sound weird on stream. On track. Like my are voice sounds weird. Are you our track? I was gonna say track side reporter, but you're not really a track side reporter because you're on the track. In car report. Oh, there we go. Pit stop UK. Uh, where's their latest tweet about round two? I will quote tweet that and go live now. Jam. Upcoming events. Bugatti is a car, not a track. He's so silly. Come on, Zach. Stay on topic. If you can. God. Well, there's nothing to talk about right now. The race hasn't fun. started yet. <laughs> well, how did you? Th how did you? What was your impressions from last week? You weren't in the booth with me. But um, how do you think it went? I didn't watch it, so I don't know. You what? <laughs> <laughs> God, that's um, just unacceptable. Yeah, I didn't watch it. <laughs> well, Dom, you were there last week. You raced quite well. How was it for you? <laughs> It was a jam-packed jam race. For my <laughs> <laughs> God, I hate you. See, that's why Zach's in the booth with me this week. He's on my, he's on my wavelength. <laughs> yes, all the best. Good luck. Uh, hello to whoever is running the Delta and Pit Stop Twitch accounts. I see you both in the chat. You have nothing to I say. Should, well, I should probably I jump in the chat. That, that's probably a good thing for me to do. Do you need to be in the chat? Well, I will, so I can interact with the audience, assuming that we'll have one. I, I'm liking your optimism. <laughs> You've got everyone on that um, outlap so far. DDM Jam. DDM Jam, yes. I'm just going to mute right, it we'll as have. well, because I don't need to listen to it, because I'm talking to you. We've got three viewers, hell yeah. Oh, one. Hell yeah, of course. Why do I Bring have it in the three notifications under Prime Loot? What is that? I don't know. That's the um, the Twitch thing. Is there anything interesting? I don't know. Star Wars Squadrons. Oh, I need that. Helmets. Oh, man. Zach, I really invited you in to talk about the race. As well, I, to... well, whatever. <laughs> Why are you in follow cam and not replay cam? Uh, because I thought it'd be fun to watch an onboard lap from whoever I randomly started spectating at the start of quality. But they're all on their out laps, so I don't yeah. it doesn't really matter yet. <laughs> do, you, do you reckon I should be on the outboard cam instead? Um, I remember to do you can now. be on whatever camera your heart desires. You are the streamer. I'm just here for color commentary, and I don't really know what else. Uh, you, well, you're mainly here so I don't lose my voice again, because it was rather, my throat was rather sore at the end of last week. So that's your main job. So is that a Dale Earnhardt paint? Or is that... Okay, it's not. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> uh, Big Chungus. I just glanced at it and I thought it was a Dale Earnhardt paint. <laughs> okay, I'm currently riding on board and it looks like this is the stock paint to me. I don't know if you've got a oh, sync issue if there is a paint screen, loaded or Big what. Big Chungus has a, a black, red, and white livery. Okay, I remember last week. Was it Big Chungus that had a bright yellow one to start with? And then he changed it after I'd already gone through all the liveries. I was very disappointed. Where's where's my boy Dom? Who is that? Your boy Dom. You mean our boy Dom. Why is PSUK Forza so far behind? Uh, maybe he's backed off to get some space as they to start his qualifying lap. And if that's what he's doing, I feel like he's going to be the prime candidate to ride on board with for this first lap. See how he goes in qualifying. Now, unlike last week, 
I've actually done a couple of laps of this track in this car. It might not have been the right build, but it was close enough. So I've got a tiniest bit of insight into what these drivers might be going through. So, so I'm going to attempt to uh, talk you through this first lap with a bit of professionalism. So, That's a good started chill. the lap. Nice, nice, very funny. Nice long run into turn one. Scrubbing off the speed all the way through turn one. Tightens up into turn two. You want to try and hit the apex a bit more than uh, Forza has there. And again, using the outside of the track as well, which is stay very middling. And then up, setting up through the sweepers, you want to just be touching the curb just like that. There was a nice little clip there. And setting it up, nice sweeping to the left. And then we're going to sweep to the right. And it's all about rhythm through here. If you get slightly out of shape on any one part of them, you're going to be losing time all the way. And still past this section as well. Another left-hander up the hill. You want to get a good run up here. If you mess up anywhere between turn two and about here, you're going to lose a lot of time through that entire section. Now, deg two Degners. Probably my favourite tr so, um, corners on this track. Full commitment through the first one. Hard on the brakes. Down into probably second gear. And accelerate out under the bridge for the second one. And it leads up into probably my least favourite corner on the track. You want to hug the right-hand side as you enter the hairpin. And it's such a tight one. Probably the slowest corners in, in on Forza, probably. Especially of the real tracks. And it's all about trying to get a good exit. No wheel spin there from uh, Forza, so that was a good exit. And now it's just the waiting game again. You, the exit... Again, I guess this track is all about momentum. That exit is going to affect your speed all the way down to the entry to Spoon here. So you really do need to optimise that. And then Spoon, like Turn 1, double apex corner where you have to slow down for the second one. A lot more than the first. And once again, you need a good exit because it's going on to yet another very long straight. So your run off of that corner will affect your pace all the way down here under the Dunlop Bridge, going into probably the most famous corner on track, 130R. Full commitment, dab on the brakes. Just make sure you don't run wide using a little bit of the outside curb. That was a lovely line there. And then hard onto the brakes into the chicane where we had that infamous incident in, what was it, 1992 in the Formula 1 season? Uh, you know the one I'm talking about, even if the years. That was 91, wasn't it? With Senna there you go. and but, Prost? Like I said, you, I you know what I mean, even if I got the year wrong. But uh, through there, very tight corner, down to the line. It's a good lap from PSUK Forza there. Jumping up to God knows where, because I can't see. <laughs> what was he? Look at that, third place on a 10.7. Very good lap, straight into third position, provisionally. So, nice bit of... Uh, on board with Forza there. Who should we watch next, Zach? Uh, I'm, I'm just looking at some stats right now. I see that uh, Dom currently has the... Well, my bad. DDM drifting. Currently has the highest top speed at 153 miles an hour. Is top speed a port to this track? Uh, it has straight lines. <laughs> I'll take that as a hesitant yes then. <laughs> yes, no. Compared, compared to last week where we was at Laguna Seca... Ooh, straight line speed not. will definitely be more important here. Oh yeah. If uh, if nothing else, I've decided to jump on board with Jim Supra for the next lap or so. Uh, one of the favourites probably after taking a win in the second place in the first round. Didn't get a lap in on his first attempt. though, currently sitting down in tenth place. He's still got what is it three more laps to uh, try and set a time. So I expect him to be jumping up sooner rather than later. Who do you reckon is going to be uh, Supra's closest challenger today, Zach? Uh, well, at the moment, it is uh, drifting. Um, are, are you sure about that? Oh, just kidding. It's Knock Hill. Drifting's yeah, not Knock far Hill off, with, though. Uh, yeah, drift, both of those drivers, very impressive in the last round. Uh, our boy DDM Drifting getting a couple of third places. Doing very well behind I mean our uh, boy. He Super sucks. And He's terrible. Zach, come Take him on, off the team. You can't be saying that on stream. He's in the party. <laughs> He's going to hear you. But yeah, no, uh, Drifting and Knockhill, as you identified, both very impressive last week. Knockhill with the, some of the most ridiculous bad luck I've ever seen. He dirtied his lap in quali, despite which would have put him on the front row. Um, he got through. He had a fantastic start. and was running up in like fifth or sixth or something and got involved in an accident that absolutely was not his fault. He still managed to gain a couple of places by the end of the race. So the second race, it's a reverse grid. He gets to the lead early. He pulls out a big lead. DNFs. Good yeah. Out. How unfortunate can you get? I feel little, like if... A little bit more spread out than I thought it would be. So 2.85. Yeah, lap time. 2.05.8 for 
Not kill. And then back to a... Or 208.5. Excuse me. I was going to say. <laughs> 209... <laughs> Uh, zero, and then it's all the way a second back to PSUK JP on a 10.1. Him back to well, sorry, this... Organic Bean Pole. Interesting name. Great name. Uh, I'm, gonna, tight, I'm gonna, gonna stick with interesting. Going across the <laughs> uh, he's on a 10.1 as well, 174. Mm. We've still got a number of drivers that haven't managed a clean lap yet. Uh, we're still riding on board with Supra, who is one of those drivers. Currently on an 8.8. .8 uh, we've also lost clean. one. SLS Nathan. Yeah, I did see that. I'm, I'm assuming... I don't, I don't know if he's actually meant to be here, because he didn't race last week. Um, we had a look at the entry list beforehand, and he wasn't on the initial entry list. So, I don't know. If he, if he was meant to be racing, I'm assuming we would have noticed and backed out to get him in. But I, I, I just don't know, in all honesty. Not sure what that's about. Anyway, Supra, round the final corner, coming up to cross the line. Is he going to get his lap in on this occasion? Currently in 13th place goes... Is he stay 13th? He stays 13th. That's... Interesting. Yeah. Could he be sandbagging? I wouldn't have thought so, because it's... He's, say, he came first and second last week. The only guy to beat him was Mr. Fergs in the second race. And he's not here tonight, so... You'd imagine that Supra is likely to be the favourite for potentially two wins, but SLS not kill maybe without some bad luck this week will be a lot closer to challenge. You've got DDM drifting in the background of some of these shots. Had the uh, two podiums last week, as we mentioned. Could he step up and challenge for the top two? I, d I don't know. That's that's the beauty of, of sport, or eSport in this case. And I'll tell you what, that line into Degna 1 looked dirty to me. I think Supra might have cut the corner there. I'm not sure he's going to get a clean lap Ooh, in, Zach. Could have been. That'd be quite the turn-off if he doesn't. So what's, what lap time's he on now? Let's wait for the thing to cycle, cycle around again. So we got uh, Andy on a 10-7. Uh, Supra's on a 9-0. Yeah, 9-0. So that's the same so that medium drifting him... in second. Well, that yeah. put him... I didn't see the... Second and third decimal points. Would that put him ahead or behind of Driften? Well, it's a moot point because he needs to get it clean for it to count. Well, yes. And if it's not. I tell you, what, it's a, it's a point zero six zero, which I think would put him ever so slightly ahead. Yes. By, by nine thousandths yeah, of nine a second. Thousands. That is mad. Oh. We've got so, seven yeah, viewers. Points. Damn. Nice. I mean, my, mine says six, so I don't know which one's true. But. Well, we're going to go with mine because it's the higher number. Awesome. I believe we picked at 11 last week, so it's nice to have a couple of people tuning in so we're not just out here talking to ourselves. We do appreciate it. And uh, hopefully oh, the stream no, it, quality will only get better throughout six. the night. You had to jinx it. <laughs> second, I hear a breath from, I believe, DDM Drifting. You finished qualifying now? How was that for you? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I was hearing things. We'll check in with Drifter I, again. I think he, he has finished it. his laps now. Um, yeah, all right. There he is. Why well, didn't How you put it on pole? <laughs> <laughs> well, why did you do that? Super, yeah, Super did a 2081 oh, well, dirty. You've, you've come in and you've identified two points that I'd spoken about already. The first the sector being about all momentum, and Supra with that dirty lap. Very, very surprising. How far? Uh, now we're back in the lobby, we might be able to see the previous race results. So there we go. A knock kill on an 8.3. That's a big 7 tenths gap between you, you two on the front row. Do you reckon you can bridge that in the race? i tell you what I didn't notice during the uh, while the laps were going on. You've got CCX Rye right behind you. Only about a tenth separating the two of you. We saw you in a good battle with um, both of you and DDM Drive as well last week. Do you reckon that could be the same again? I 
I mean, you could also say that he delivered where it matters. So come race day, might be having to look in your mirrors as much as you're looking forward. And I've, I've got to ask about Supra because it's, once again, we've had one of the favourites for the for the series, really, that not get a clean lap in quality. How do you reckon he'll do in race one? How far do you think he'll get up the grid? I'll tell you what, Zach. We had a prediction from Dom earlier. Well, how far up the grid do you think uh, Supra's going to go? Uh, he's going to win. He's going to win? He's going to okay. do the last of first challenge. Damn. Uh, my prediction, I'm locking in early. I'm going to say he's going to get to fourth. Right, let's get these how I wanted. All set up. Supra warming up his rear tyres there with a little use of the handbrake. Giving up position to Nathan, potentially. on the. And we st oh, we still got an accident at Turn 1. We have PSUK Forza dropping to the back of the field. And I believe it George was Russell. RBHM Smokey that he was... Uh, Oh, three wide in T1, and there's Ooh, been an accident. Oh, that was a big commitment Ooh, oof. by Super around the outside, getting caught up, getting tagged on the rear as he made the move. But he is up into P12 now, and they're three wide with Ziplant off on the grass. Ooh, Ooh he very nearly hit uh, that George barrier Russell's there. Gone off. Will you stop calling him George Russell? I forgot what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, right, so... Supra up to 11th already. PSUK Andy, series organizer, hope and uh, leader of PSUK Ooh, up ahead. Up. Supra looks to the inside through the second Degna. Didn't make the move there though. Into a heavy braking zone at the hairpin. Is he going to have another go? It looks like he's setting up for it on the inside. Andy goes wide with a lockup, and Supra sneaks through for P10. And RBHM Smokey looking to follow him through. They're going to be side by side as they go around the long curve, and Andy just about seems to hold him off for now any other battles on track I can look at Zach um yes <laughs> very helpful where do I go as Su I tell you what before I go anywhere Supra up to P9 now past third eye let's look at P and P2. Drifton telling us to look at P2 Dom what's happened you started second question of the evening do fish get thirsty huh <laughs> can we what do you think, Dom? Do fish get thirsty? I think Dom wants to concentrate on his racing because CCX Rise just made a oh, little mistake up ahead of him. Dom's it. going for the overtake, sending it up the inside. Lovely move into the heaven. Rise going to get the cut back out the exit of the chicane, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. Great call from our on-track reporter, DDM Drifter, telling us to go and watch the action for P2. So we see a lovely move into the final chicane, and Knock Hill has one hell of a lead already. I'm going to randomly jump back to P5 and see if there's anything going on. Nope, nothing there, but there's some side-by-side -side action in the background. At least I thought there was. Maybe I was wrong. Who knows? Zach, where have you arrived? He really did look... I'm sticking with the battle for P2. Okay, you do that, and I'll browse through the grid. Oh, and it looks like we've got gone. another lag out. Is that Ooh. someone from just ahead of me, I think? He licked the stamp and send it. He really did lick the stamp and send it. We've got Supra trying to make more moves. Side by side with Organic Beanpole through the S's. Little bit of contact. They just about get away with that. But uh, no positions gained. And it doesn't look like we have had a lag out. Andy down to last now though. That's a shame. He must have had an off. And Supra getting again a bit of an overlap. Maybe not quite going into the Degners. Can he send it up the inside? No. Beanpole defends. And once again, last time we were on board with Supra in this position... He managed to get past Andy at the hairpin. Grumps up ahead with a terrible run. Really holds up Beanpole. Let's Supra to the inside. He's going to take both of them. If he can get the exit, he'll outdrag. If he can get the exit. Can he get the exit? Oh, they're still side by side on the exit. Grumps with a nice run round the outside line there. Can Supra clear him before they turn into Spoon? It looks like he's going to manage it. That was a great two-in-one from Supra. Zach, how's P2 going? Uh, P2 is, is going pretty good. They were bumper to bumper for a moment, but uh, Dom is currently pulling away from uh, Rye at the moment. It is a... I can find the ticker. No, that's telemetry. That don't know how to use this. That's right. It's a very... Time cool intervals. A tense. There you go. Okay, I've jumped back on board with Ziplant behind Jello in 13th and 14th because the time interval was showing very small when it last rotated across my screen. By the time I got here, not quite so much. 
Seems why to is be he a, quite why a spread is, out field. Why is there WRC on his number board? This is not rallying. Uh, no idea. I'll tell you what, though. Maybe I was right to come here. Jam, jam definitely is pump. thirsty after gushing everywhere. I'm, I'm thirsty because I'm talking too much. Uh, we do have a battle for 13th zip plant with a good exit out of the final chicane. Looks like he might be able to go up the inside of Jello if he can hold it on the inside. Jello round the outside. A little bit of sideways action there from his Civic. And uh, they stay as they are for now. How's Supra getting on? Has he made up any more moves? I believe he was sick last time. Supra is still P6. Nice one. We'll have to try and keep an eye on him, see if he can get any further through the field. Considering we've had less than three laps already, I would expect so. Jello slightly wide through the S's there. Zip plant going to be closing up again. Can he get a good run up the hill? Maybe set him up into that second Degna. I think we're closing a little bit. No, I mean, no, 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 we're not. Never mind. How close are we going to be through the Degnas? Once again, full commitment to the right. Zip plant not starting as far to the left on turning. And have to run wide between the two Degnas as a result. But uh, as they exit the corner, pretty status quo. Gap hasn't really changed since I've been on board with them. Oh, that's a bit late on the brakes from Zip Plant, though. Running into the back of Jello. Not getting the exit to uh, capitalise from that bit of contact. But I uh, have to be careful about doing that again, because any more serious than that into there, and you could really risk punting someone off. <laughs> that is the risk that you have to take, though. Not Petra, many, not many overtaking spoon, places on and this course. And they both run wide and rather sensibly zip plant making sure he didn't capitalise from that. That was uh, ambitious, I think would be the kindest way as Forza now in between Ooh. a pair of them. Big Chungus has gone wide. Super's going for the move around the outside at the final chicane. Yeah, Nicely can done he make Supra. it stick? Managed to Managed to just jump in on board with Chungus there, Zach. Thanks for the info. Sort of ca caught the end of that. So, when you say Chungus ran wide, I presume you mean through 130R. Yes, uh, on the exit of 130R. Okay, so Supra up to fifth now. Is, is that Lewis Hamilton? I think that is. <laughs> Will you stop identifying people? No, by I, in the drivers chat, they it's share Lewis their Hamilton. numbers with. Oh! <laughs> Not actual Lewis Hamilton, a picture of Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> No, I thought you meant someone in the race as running the number 40. No. Like he was calling for George Russell. <laughs> no. I'll tell you what. This is definitely a far more spread out grid early on than we had at uh, Mazda Laguna Seca. Um, I think. Oh, what's going on yeah, behind? Leachy. Pretty oh, Leachy in the gravel. Pretty consistent across the field at the moment. Leachy really badly in the gravel. He's dropped a long way back. He was P7, maybe? I say that. Super He's now down to 11th. Super is closing in on his next potential victim, PSUKJP. I like how you call him a victim. I think I would have said. <laughs> Do you feel it's inevitable that he's going to get past then? That's, that's why I said potential victim. Oh, uh, yeah, fair enough. I've got to listen to semantics more. Oh, crikey, you weren't kidding. Jumping back on board with Supra now. And uh, nearly getting an overlap. We've already, we've just seen one very bad attempt at overtaking into Spoon. But Supra showing us how it's done properly, nice and cleanly. Up the inside of the first part. Hits the apex for the second part. Supra, I think you mean got... Matt Neal. Oh, my days. <laughs> yes, he's running a house with you at delivery. But no, this doesn't mean he's Matt Neal. <laughs> It's the wrong shape Supra. Uh, wrong shape Supra. Wrong shape Supra. <laughs> 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 what it's is that one? the wrong shape Civic for a start. That's someone making it rain? I don't know if that's supposed to be a <laughs> person. <laughs> oh, if, I'm enjoying I, these I, emojis. I Emotes? Emojis? Whatever they are. What, what would you say you're watching more at this point? The race or the emojis in the chat? Uh, a little bit of both. I mean, they're both making but, it quite moist. Fair enough. We've got a tell you what. We was looking at them earlier. We've seen just just seen a swap on the ticker between Zip Plant and Jello for 14th and 15th, I believe. And uh, they're still still with Zip Plant behind, but these do seem to be the two drivers that are closest on track, and have been for a little bit of while ever since uh, Zip Plant went for that overtake. Was it PSUK falls or was in between them at some point? Uh, he's now up the road by. Eight seconds ahead of Jello, according to that ticker, Ooh. assuming that was the right person. 
That's quite a gap to pull in a short yeah, space of time. Quite a gap. Did we see any issues for Forza? Was he one of the guys that went off at turn one, maybe? Uh, he did go off uh, in the S's on lap one. Oh, right. Right. Maybe, uh, that maybe, was lap one. Maybe that's why he was... Yeah, but still, say, making his way back through the pack, maybe that's why he's showing more pace Ooh. than these two. Especially considering the amount of battle Big they're doing. Big Chungus right on the back, PSUKJP. Well, I will absolutely check in with that in a minute. Keep an eye on it for me, mate. As we get Andy joining this battle group now, going up into 15th place, is a little bit of contact, but he's through before the first of the Degners. Wow, this is... Uh, these guys are really going at it, Bam. They really are. Let's change to... There we go. Can't a beat spicy emotes. Action. You really cannot beat spicy emotes. Oh my days. Andy going for another move up the inside of the hairpin on ETR Jello. Is he going to get the exit from that inside line? They're side by side as they start their run down towards Spoon. And there's a little bit of contact there, I think, with Andy on the outside. They're still neck and neck. Andy may be inching ahead. Oh yeah, he's definitely inched ahead. He's pulled back across to the racing line now and has made up two positions in the space of half a lap. Very impressive stuff. Very impressive. I can oh, see on the ticker PSUK Supra just two going seconds up behind the right inside. Now. PSUK JP, my bad. Let's see if we can catch any aftermath of this action. Was that a uh, move off into the hairpin? Uh, well, so... Um, Big Chungus got past... JP at around the outside of the hairpin, and then nice. JP just got him back at the chicane at the end of the lap. Okay, we'll have to keep an eye on these guys for a little bit then, see if they kick off once again. Seems to... These guys having quite the battle now. We've got, uh, say, Ziplant and Jello that we've checked in on a couple of times. So as much as I've said this race is a bit more spread out, there are definitely some battles going on out there. So we've got SLS Nathan less than a second behind the car in front of him. I didn't quite see who that was. Maybe we should check in on him quickly. Uh, so it's RBHM Smokey ahead of SLS Nathan. And they are currently separated by... Not a lot. Uh, less than half a second, according to the ticker across the top of the screen. Anyone else closer than that, Zach? Or is this the best place to be watching right now? Uh, there's a few little groups of cars uh, 8th through 11th is quite close yeah that's where we're um, looking now and then 5th back to 7th is decently close to each other on track tell you what Nathan was fortunate there running a little bit wide onto the grass on the outside of the hairpin but managing to retain his position for now definitely dropping back from RBHM Smokey though splitting this group of 4 into 2 pairs really Should we go and check on Supra, see how he's getting on? Because I believe I can bring up, not that one, uh, player focus, here we go. So, 1.6 seconds behind CCXRI. Last time I saw 1.5 now. Last time we saw that, I believe I identified it as a two second gap, down to 1.2 at its lowest point there. So Supra absolutely got the pace. What, is that lap eight we're on? No, lap six. Okay, my ticker's in the wrong place. Lap seven now. So just a, just over halfway through the race, Supra's already up to fourth, which is where I predicted him to finish. 1.5 behind the podium places. Do you reckon he can get a pick up a trophy here today, Zach? I'm sticking with my theory that he's going to win the race. Uh, it's not well, looking. Let's have a look at the gap. Not looking too good, but I'm going to stick with it. I never go back on my word. So I was just going to say, check through the gaps between the top four. So it's 1.4 between Supra up to Rye. Then it's another 2.3 up to DDM Drifting in second place. And then Knockhill, another four and a half seconds ahead. So that lead gap is going to be what? We're saying 4.6. Uh, another two seconds, 6.6. .6, another one and a half. Looking at about an eight second gap from Supra to the lead. Do you reckon he can do that in six laps? <laughs> With yeah, two no overtakes, problem. bearing in mind? You have a lot of faith in the uh, Williams Gym driver. Uh, for Jim. now, I believe it's, it's that's what Jim is, isn't it? It's the Williams Junior. Not, is it? I'm sure it's something to do with Williams. His name's not Jim. That's his. <laughs> <laughs> it took you too long to get that one. Yeah, all right. It's wasn't that funny. 
Uh, no, I want to leave that on timing tools. And then, who are we checking in with? Should we go back to Zip Plant? He's still only half a second behind Jello. I'm pretty surprised he hasn't managed to make this move stick yet. What do you reckon might be holding him back? Uh, um, maybe he, he's just not feeling it yet. Well, you say setting him up for the dramatic overtake on the yeah, last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. See, while you were making jokes at my expense, Delta's just confirmed in the chat that Jim is a sister team to Williams. I knew, sort of knew what I was talking about, at least. Got anything to say about that? Well, uh, Mr. Funny Man? What, usually it stands for something. What does it stand for? I don't know what it stands for. I'll tell you what, I think we've just seen a change for position up in... Is that 9th and 10th? Ooh, oh, I was trying Nathan's to see what was going off. on. He's in the wall! Oh no! Was it bad? Oh, he still ghosted as we ride. As we've managed to come back to him, rejoining just ahead of PSUK Third Eye. Does he have any damage? Uh, that one. A little bit of transmission damage, but I think that's a replay desync thing. So no, he's managed to get away damage free at the very least. It looked like he was able to get it slowed down enough that it wasn't too bad of an impact. Okay, that's good. So where tried were you running to, before uh, you hit the wall? He was running P11, tried to stick it around the outside of Smokey into the first half of the chicane, and just didn't work out. No room. Okay, so at least he's only lost the one position as well. But uh, yeah, not exactly something you want to be doing. Right. Crunch time. I'm going to get back into the onboard camera because we've got Jim Supra very close to the back of CCXRI for third place. He's just sitting the slipstream down towards Spoon. Where do you think he's most likely to make the move, Zach? Oh, that's a tough one. There, there's not too many overtaking places on this particular track. You really only got two or three good chances. Uh, and even then, you got to make sure you set it up well in advance. Well, just while you were talking there, Jim Supra, looking to have a little bit of a look through Spoon, but uh, as you mentioned, not the easy... It's a, it's, a, it's a type of track you've really got to set the move up, and he was just sort of looking for that opportunistic dive, which didn't pay off for him, and he's dropped a little bit further back as we now head round 130R, and uh, there's always the opportunity of the driver ahead making it just a little mistake round here, which can open up a door. Rye slightly off track there, but it looks like he's going to get away with that one for now. Tell you what though, it's very close as they come out the head. It is very Evan? close. She can. He said less than two tenths of a second. What is the tune difference going to be? It looks like Super has gained a couple of feet, maybe in the draft. Is he going to look to send one up the inside into turn one? It's not really the best place to pull off an overtake. Although for the second part, maybe the door was open there, but once again, Super just not quite, not quite being. Oh, okay, Ooh, that's big dive. Yeah, that's going to set him back a little bit. Ooh. Who's that? Is that? Uh, that is the battle for 5th place between Big Chungus and PSUK JP. Tried to send it in turn 1 and kind of just drilled him from behind. Well, that's not what we like to see. Let's ride on board with him for a little bit. Oh, there's three of them here. We've got organic beam yeah, it's in the a three-way well. battle. So I'll check in with these guys for a little bit, see if there's anything going on. But I do want to keep an eye on Supra because he's actually made a little bit of a mistake. He's definitely got the pace to be challenging Ryan. I want to get on board with him once that happens. So he's back, yeah, back to three tenths difference already. Chungus flying through the first Degna there. Oh, yeah. Absolutely full commitment. That's good to see. But uh, yeah, definitely a three card battle. We're going to have to keep an eye on. Zach, if you want to keep an eye on these guys, I am going to go back to Super. Ooh, he's tried to put oh, it around Chungus the outside and it's not worked out. He's going to lose out on An that organic one. beam pole now. Uh, let's stay on board with this then. Is he going to lose the place to organic beam pole? Or do you reckon he can hang it around the outside going into spoon? Uh, it's going to be tight, really. Supers just past Rye up the inside of spoon. Damn it! <laughs> okay, so we have got uh, Chungus dropping down into seventh place after that attempted overtake for fifth. But yeah, Super up ahead of Rye now, as uh, as the guys have just uh, thankfully told me. Right, coming back at him though. Oh, yeah, playing fast and loose with the track limits around 130 on the way in and out. But uh, oh, he's putting on the oh, grass as well. Yeah, just 
it's little not mistake gone like well. that drops you what, half a second back, one second back, 1.2. Yeah, lost a lot of time for just a little mistake. And uh, unless anything bad happens to Suit Pro, which I absolutely wouldn't wish on anybody, it looks like Rye might be settling for fourth at this point. So I'm going to go back to that potential three car battle that we saw earlier. With the swap has between pulled six. away. I was just about to say the same thing. With the with the swap for sixth, JP's got that extra little bit of breathing room as we enter the last three laps of the race. They're a 97. I was going to say Wayne Gretzky, but he's game? number 99 and it's hockey anyways. Or was it Adrian Sutil that ran the 99 in uh, Formula 1? I don't know. Does I mean, what does Giovinazzi run? Does he run 99? Yeah, I think he does. I'm surprised that my head went to Sutil before Giovinazzi. Anyways. I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, <laughs> yeah. Drifting, why are you not winning? I'm sure. Okay, go. good luck. All the best to our man on the track. Absolutely thrilling interview. <laughs> well, I mean, when they're currently in the race, Ooh. I think that's understandable. Grumps might get overtaken here into the hairpin. Leachy's just put it up the inside. Grumps has the cutback line, though. Hey, that's my it's number. Way too long to find these guys. <laughs> so does that mean you want to support him, or cheer against him? Um... I'll cheer for him, because 55. I'm sorry on, it took me so long to uh, find this battle. Is this how they started, or was Grumps ahead when you first checked in? Uh, when I first checked in, Grumps was ahead. Ah, so now the swaps have been made, can Leechy pull away, or are they? is uh, Grumps going to be fighting back for that P8? Where else do we have to listen track? There's a... There's battles for uh, 12th and another battle for, or 11th, my bad, another battle for 13th. I swear, every time I swap to a different battle, I miss something, so I'm, I'm hesitant to change again at the moment. You've got But it does look, does look like Leechy and Grumps are uh, pulling away. Um, yeah. Yeah. It looks like Leechy and Grumps are falling apart a little bit in terms of the gaps extending. A little oh, bit. my day, words! <laughs> You know uh, what I was trying yeah, to You get. got Let's Nathan go and Smokey Nathan. battling for P11, and then you've got Third Eye and Andy battling for P13. Andy in the slipstream. Oh, pulls yeah, out. Guys are a bit closer. Andy going to the outside. Not quite. Oh, oh he's passed by turn one. Crikey, that was uh, somewhat anticlimactic. A little bit. Andy up to 13th. Andy was one of the drivers, uh, I think he was almost off in the gravel, gravel on the outside of Turn 1 on the first lap. Happened to make his way back through the field. So he's made up a good couple of positions since then. Back back in Supra. Currently 3.6 second gap ahead to DDM Drifton. With what, a lap and a half left? Yeah, I think he's, gonna I, I think he's uh, not going to go any farther than that. Which is uh, like precisely where I predicted he would finish. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I said. Do, do you right need me to the replay start. the clip on the stream? I so don't know what you're talking twice. about. <laughs> so, uh, let's go to Organic Bean Pole. It looks like only a six tenth gap behind JP. So, see, I think I think these are the closest two on track at the moment, as the. Uh, Ticker slides across. We'll double check those numbers. Our beam pole about nine tenths behind the car in front of him. JP, who we're on board with at the moment, one second between eighth and ninth. So those guys relatively close as well. We have Nathan 1.5 behind behind the car in front of him, but hasn't quite been as action packed as Laguna Seca, for better or for worse, because we did have apparently quite a big um, accident in the first race at Laguna Seca that I completely missed. But we did also enjoy a very good battle for third place between three different cars. So, last lap, last lap now, Zach. What's your biggest takeaway been from this race? Uh, Dom is slow. He's in second place. 
Come on. He should be winning, though. Just getting down. We love you. <laughs> hey, this is, a, this is a PG-13 stream. Okay. Well, most of the time. <laughs> uh, so, it's, Dom, it's, it is the last lap now. A little bit it seems like up. you're happy to chat a little bit. How, it seems like you've had a little bit of a lonely race from the outside, apart from the uh, move on Rye. How's, how's it been from your perspective? Awesome. Um, huh. I think we've got some activity in the chat. I think they might have missed all of what you said, mate, because you might not have your audio included. <laughs> That's very unfortunate. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> um, we have just had word from the, the man on camera, DDM Drifting. Now, now you've included your audio, have you? Now I'm in. Uh, now I'm in here. Ah, oh, sweet, awesome. Sorry so, for technical so difficulties. You've just, you've, <laughs> <laughs> you've just given me and Zach a nice debrief. How about you say it again for everyone that's watching? Right. <laughs> um, not kill. <laughs> At the beginning of the race showed that he was a couple tenths quicker a lap than I was. Um, trying to hold on to that gap just wasn't working out for me. Um, he just consistently was able to create a larger and larger gap, so I just kept my head down. Um, after battling with Rai for the first few laps, um, it seemed that I had slight pace advantage. So once I'd created a small gap, I could keep it quite nicely and then extend it whenever he made a small mistake. And then when Supra came through and they battled for half a lap to a lap or however long it was, it just yeah, gave saw, me enough breathing room. If I can just interject room. there, that, that battle, we saw both drivers make little mistakes. Especially, um, especially surprising to see Supra drop back. I think it's about a second he ran wide through, was it touched the wheel on the grass through the S's or something? So yeah, that oh, definitely okay. would have given you a little bit more breathing room. Yeah, and that just enabled me to be able to hold on to second place overall then there because had super been closer it would have been a lot harder for me to hold on to that do you reckon if super had got through a little bit more clinically could have caught you for second place um i would put it as far to say that i would have had a good battle with him i will put i will say that much because on ultimate pace he certainly is quicker than me but i think through some consistency i might have been able to hold him behind me for a little while whether it would have been enough to hold on to second i don't know well, you will be starting next to each other in the uh, reverse grid race. Yes. On the, in, in the situation where you get maybe a little bit luckier, a bit better through the traffic and the opening laps, do you reckon you could hold him off for the entire length of a race, even with um, a pit stop involved? Due to the fact that he'll be starting ahead of me, I'm going to have to get past him first. So it really depends how turn one and, and following corners come out. Um, with the traffic around this track, it's going to be interesting because overtaking possibilities are few and far between. Um, I will say, when saying for you guys to come watch P2 and I then sent it on Rye, that was me missing my braking point, but it works out. <laughs> <laughs> Those job, are the bud. best kind of overtakes, aren't they? <laughs> yes, uh, an awesome dive bomb from way too far back, but I managed to hold on to it. So there are only a few overtaking points. It's just really being clinical with the overtaking and hopefully I can stay on his rear bumper to give him a run for his money. Awesome. One, one last question before I run off for my between the races break. I did briefly mention pit stop in race two. Any particular strategy? You mentioned at the, towards the end of that one that your tyres were going off. Um, yeah, so the race one it was a long, long race. So the tyres, the front tyres especially due to this being front wheel drive really were starting to struggle come the end. I've started to feel it. Um, as in an exact strategy, it really depends on how I get on with traffic, because I would probably use the pit stop more to get out of traffic and get myself some clean air rather than focusing on the tyres. 
Awesome. Well, thank you very much for your insight. I'm going to shoot off and go and get a drink, and I'll leave the stream in the capable hands of my debutizing co-host, Zach. Take it away, buddy. You know, it's not Talk the first time I've uh, done really well on a debut jam. <laughs>